talking, self-centered, woman-chasing traveling man who comes to town. And the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All oh, right, darling, all oh, right. Only it's a well-known principle that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in another, you never strike much of a fire. <laughs> uh -huh. Just saying, dear. <laughs> Library and ask Miss Grubb to give you the book that I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. It's a large brown volume with black corners. Do I have to? You don't have to talk to anyone. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. Now what are you up to? I have a feeling the Indiana Journal may help me poke some large holes in the professor's claim. Well, I give up. At your age, if you don't mind my asking, what kind of a white knight do you expect to come riding it off? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Briner, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library, or Ed Damage and that buggy of his with a removable back seat. Oh. I'm not waiting for a knight in shining white armor either. All I want is a plain man, a modest man, a quiet man, a straightforward and honest man with habits that do not exclude the occasional reading of a book. us. <laughs> 